everyone, this is Jocelyn. In my previous video, I presented the definition of some terms like qualitative analysis, code, coding, and the first thing to consider in pre-coding stage. This is part two, and we're gonna go ahead and continue with the things to consider in pre-coding stage. So, number two is memoing. What do we mean by this? It is all about documenting your reflections and impressions. You can do that during data collection. What you're thinking about while you collect the data is so important when you need to go back and check on what your thoughts are concerning your observation. Next is data analysis phase. Here, you're thinking of the important statements about what participants say. It requires a lot of high-level mental process and it takes a lot of time. So, it's really important to document all your thoughts. Another thing to consider when you analyze your data is if you're going to go manual or electronic. Manual coding, in terms of tools, uses paper, pencil, pen, note cards, hard copy of the transcripts or documents, artifact to be coded. You may also use Microsoft Word and Excel to do that. For electronic one, we can use computer-aided qualitative data analysis software such as NVivo, Atlas TI, and Transena. The thing is in usability as well. Manual coding is easy to use, especially when data is not a lot. While in electronic coding, you need to familiarize with the functions of the software before starting in analyzing data. So a recommendation would be watching YouTube instructional videos and practice. One disadvantage of manual coding is it's time consuming. It takes a lot of time for you to go back to a particular statement, though while in electronic coding, it is easier and faster to go back and search for that specific statement, for example. So if you have software, you better use it, especially when you deal with large data. By the way, when do we say that the data is small? If it includes about 5 to 10 participants with 3 to 4 pages transcript each, that is considered small data. And for large data, if for example you have a total of 20 participants and you have 5 pages transcript per participant. So if you have no access to any of those softwares and you have small data, you'll definitely have to use manual coding.